Okay, um, good morning, everyone. So, um, this morning, um, our topic of discussion is um, workplace behavior. I don't believe there are certain ways in which we, um, as an individual, I believe these, there are certain ways in which we can be able to um, operate within um, a certain environment. So for me, um, I know that um, workplace behavior, these are the actions um, or, con um, or conditions or in, in which we interact within um, a working environment. They might either be um, either a positive um, behavior or a negative behavior. But um, a positive behavior, this will enable the organization to achieve its vision, its aims, and its objective. Whilst um, um, a negative behavior will hinder the productivity of that organization. So we are all hoping for us to have um, a positive working behavior or in within the organization. So there are certain ways in which um, as individual, we can be able to achieve this, or in which we as um, we can be able to say, okay, this work, this behavior that I'm putting on, will will help or will enable this organization to achieve its its required result. It's very key. So um, I believe one of the things that each and every one of us my um will want to put in coordinations is about us um exhibiting um our communication skills in terms of communication very important within the working environment um, moreover the kind of environment to find ourselves this is a remote environment so you might want to pass on information or you need to pass on information effectively and efficiently you know, because if you are not giving out this information to your colleague in a way and manner in which they can be, they, they will be able to understand what you say. I don't think as a, as a team, we will be able to have the required results. No, the answer is big no. So another thing again, after, um, I believe after a team member has give out the information, I believe we also need to to prioritize um the way in manner in which we respond to some of this communication that they have passed on to us. Yesterday we um I was discussing with Molai. Yeah, when Molai was saying, okay, you know what, Noah, most of the emails that I sent out there, I copied it. You know why? The reason is because I have too much things on my plate. So, but I copied it for is for you to follow up. So these um like you been you following up some of these things that we are doing that um within any email so far that you are you checking if the required result or what you want to um the required result that you are searching for from from this client you have you, you have received it because there are thousands of emails coming in each and every day, yeah. And um, if you take a look at this environment, each and everything so far that we are doing is mainly based on email. So if you if you don't copy that, like, oh, you know what, I need to follow up on certain things, you don't put this behavior as if like, oh, let me prioritize anything, like checking on emails or following up emails. It, it's a workplace behavior within this kind of environment that we are in, this remote working environment. You need to copy that behavior. Like any email so far that you are copied on, even though you are not the person that need this um the, the need the, the, the information coming to go, but you need to check. You know what? Hey, hi Linda, have you received this? Did you receive? I see you copied me on this email. Hi Robert, did you receive? You know, you check. You follow up. This is a behavior that each and every one of us need to to put in play. We need to embrace it because it's it brings productivity. Molly like might forget. Um, um, robots might forget. Linda might forget. But you check in on on them. Oh, Mo Linda, did you receive this email? More like robot. Did you receive it? Yeah. It will make, even if the person wants to forget, I think they will go out there and check out. So this very it's very it's very key. Each and every one of us need to to practice that behavior. Another thing again, 
and and we're working in which um another workplace behavior that we need to 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 embrace is um it's about re motivating each and every one of us. Yeah, there are certain time coming. Let me say there there are certain time I might be weak in terms of um doing my task. Yeah, I might I might not be okay one hundred percent okay to do my task, but there are certain words in which you as I'm, as a colleague in which you motivate me or you 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 come up you boost the team. You are that person that always say okay you know what you can be able to do this you can just like how Mola always tell me say you know what no I know you can do this yeah I know I'm one hundred I'm one hundred percent confident that some of these things you you'll be able to do them you are able to do it. So you see, just put yourself into it. So these are some of the words that we need. It's a workplace, this is a behavior that each and every one of us need to tell. And whenever you go to your colleague, try to boost them. Tell them that, you know what? Believe in yourself. You can do it. You can do this task. It's not difficult. It's not, you know, I believe some of these things, if we copy some of this workplace behavior each and every day, we try to put them into practice as a team will be able to have our required result. Another thing again is about, I just, I, I speak about it earlier on, which about meeting deadlines. You know, this environment that we are in, you, no, no one will come and tell you, you know what, you have a meeting today. You, all what you need to do is like, you need to put up, um, you know, you need to know when and how you have a meeting. You know, you need to be cognizant about your, meet, your meeting deadline, your time, because it's very, very important. Because you might have tens of thousands of, um, let me say each and every day, you might have tens of meetings coming through. Every day you need to discuss with this client, you need to discuss, but you need to schedule yourself. Try to see meeting deadlines. It's a behavior that you need to put in place. Whenever you are giving it, giving something, write it down. Yeah, anything so far that you have, try to write it or find a book or find a piece of paper. Put up your task that you need to do within a day. I believe it will enable us or it will help us also to be productive and to be efficient within the working environment. You know, if another thing again is about us expecting um, our colleagues, you, you know, it's very, very important. You're expecting your colleague. Every, each and every time, we all coming from different backgrounds, different continent, yeah. We might have our different um stress or whatsoever coming through to work, but that does not mean because I've been here for quite a long time, I should not respect people. No, we need to be respectful because you know when you respect each and every one, I believe in there are certain tasks you not do it or you don't know everything, but because the the way and manner in which you discuss, the way and manner in which you have respect people, they will, if you tell them, that, you know what, please, can you help me on this? Please, can you help me on this? We see the, you, you will know that, okay, yeah, the person will be workplace behavior that each and every one need to put in place. You know, like I mentioned also again, the, in terms of the effective um, communication, communication is key. Because if you communicate, you'll be able to collaborate with your companions. You'll be, you'll be able to um, to to collaborate with your colleagues. So and also when you communicate effectively, I believe it will it will reduce misunderstanding within the workplace. You know, it will reduce misunderstanding. It's very 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 key. Another workplace behavior quite recently that we have put in place here is about the the the, the working hours. It's very very key. It's crucial. You know. Because if we are starting at nine, I believe each and every one that's supposed to be on that the, the, the meeting or the week we are holding should have been here at, at 8.50, 8.55. That's enable like, oh, you, you, you these are positive working and behavior or workplace behavior that we need to copy, that we need to practice. We You do not need to come here at 10, um, nine, 10 after nine, no. That's not good enough though, it's not good. So we need to practice things that will enable us to have a positive working environment. Because we are starting at nine, you should have been here five minutes to nine. That's, a, that's another key. It's very, very crucial. It's very, 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 very crucial. A crucial um, um, thing that um, workplace behavior that we each and every one of us need to copy. Because I believe you coming on, um, on time, it will enable us to have um, 
a productive day, a productive hours. Because if you are coming at 10, 9 30, I don't think you really, because some of this discussion that we are having, there's a mindset discussion. It's born in our mind. It gives us the way it shows us how we think on certain topic. So, but if you are not contributing to this topic, you just relax and say, oh, you know what? I'm not coming until the meeting end. It's like you're not ready for us to have a product, a productive hours in our in, in our work. So you see, these are all some of the things that we need to put in place. Another thing, a key thing again, is about the accountability issues within the working environment. You need to be accountable for every task that you are given. It's very, very important. Don't just say, oh, you know what? I'm waiting for Molly. I'm waiting for Mariana. I'm waiting for Linda. If Molly did not do it, I will not do it. If Noah did not do it, I will not do it. If Ale did not do it, I will not do it. But, you know, these are some of the things we should not... Call, we, we, we need these are all negative way of um, um approaching workplace. So for us to be positive, um, for us to um have a positive working environment or workplace behavior, I believe we need to be accountable. Which even though you might have doing um doing something either right or wrong, but just be accountable that this task that I'm doing, I'm the one that did this. You know, if you're accountable, I believe it boosts the team because. Whenever things want to go wrong, you say, oh, I'm the one that did this thing. I'm the one that did. So it's, it boosts the, 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 the team, the productivity of the team. Because you are accountable. You hold yourself that this thing, I'm the one that's uh, supposed to do it. So you're holding yourself accountable to anything so far. So you see? So, and also, again, in terms of the accountability, it gives trust. If I send a job to Abdul Rahman, let me say I send a job to Abdul Rahman and then I say, Abdul Rahman, you know what, these are some of the things I, I want you to do. And then the other day, Abdul Rahman come and say, you know what, Noah, you, I, I'm only, I, I, was, I was unable to receive the email that you sent or the email that you sent did not come through, which of course I know that you have acknowledged it or you have received it. Then you say, that's not good enough. It's, it's showing I will not build the trust in you or I will not have the confidence in you to give you another task. No, because there is no trust. So we need to be accountable. We need to be very, very accountable in whatever thing we do. And the other thing again, yeah, I spoke about it just now the, in terms of the, 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 the working hours. It's very key. It's crucial. So it, it's all about the time zone. Maybe now here in Sierra Leone, that time in now it's nine. We have on the same clock with um, UK. Whilst in, in another continent, maybe in the guys that are coming from Pakistan, India, Okay, let me say Asia. Their time zone might be different. Don't just sit and relax. Say, you know what? Oh, this um for me now. I have much time. I have some. Time. No, you you need to work based on the time zone. That's how you know the time zone that is set by the company. This is how we need to work. We should not just say, oh, you know what? The time here is maybe it's five a.m. in the morning. Yeah, it might be five a.m. in the morning. But the time zone, um, the time that the company have set is 9 a.m. So it doesn't mean that you need to rest till then it's 9 in your own continent. No, you need to wake up and come and do something because this is something that you said you want to do. So you see, these are all workplace behavior, things that we need to put in place, positive working environment that we need to be practicing each and every day for us to have um, a productive um, day. Within here, within the workplace. Another thing again, which of course, the last time when um I tried to do something about it, it's about we us um utilizing different tools, tools that will enable us to be productive here. You know, because each and every day we have certain different tasks that are coming through, different different tasks. More I might come and say, you know what? No, I want you to do this. But if you are not, if you are not using a tool, a productive tool, a project, a project management tool that will, will give you the, the, that will show you, okay, you know what? After this, this is what you want to do. Take, have a, a, a schedule that this is and this and this is what I need to do. If you write it down, it will help you a lot. It will enable you to be right. Um, you be on. Um, you you will be able to know what to do. But if you say, okay, you, you, you use your head in anything so far that um, robots say, okay, you, you need to do this, you need to do that, you say, okay, it's in my head, it's inside my head. No, you, things don't work like that. You will not be able to do. That's why we will be stressed up because you don't know what to do. But if you have a tool, a tool that will enable you to be productive, when more life say, okay, Noah, do this, 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 and this, then you write it down. 
this will enable all the, the you know the team the, it's 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 about the team the productivity of the team this will enable you to do more in less time but if you say everything that is coming through it's inside my head no things don't work like that. you'll not be able so at the end of the day you'll be stressed up because certain things will be left you will not able to do everything so i do believe these are certain things that we need to prioritize for us to have a positive workplace behavior. Okay, thank you. Please, is there anyone that wants to give a contribution on this topic? Thank you all. The floor is open. Thank you. Thank you very much, Noah, for that uh, elaborate explanation and uh, definition of uh, workplace behavior. Um, it's, it's a very um, good topic, workplace behavior, because we, um, we are all here to work and we are supposed to exercise certain behaviors to get the work well done. We, uh, in here, I look at the uh, objectives of the company we are working for and so we've got to fulfill those objectives and so you've explained so many ways of how to behave at work and I can only add on and maybe explain a few things how I take it or how I see it so being in a workplace we need to exercise professionalism because we are all professionals here and you are working for fellow professionals. Our clients are professionals in their fields and they expect us to produce professional service for them. So in a workplace, how should we behave? First of all, once we come in here, we know we've come to work. So chit chatting, phones, this and that, fine, there could be emergencies, but we need to concentrate. If you don't concentrate, your work won't be done on time. So you need to try and avoid all sorts of distractions. But also, as you come in, you must feel good yourself. Dress, dress properly, dress appropriately so that you're happy with yourself, so that you're in a relaxed mind. And even when you are on camera with a customer, they are looking at a professional talking to them. So it's, it's, well, we at home, I don't know whether Noah is wearing shorts now, but what I see, I see a professional <laughs> gentleman <laughs> dressed properly. So <laughs> yes, try to do that. It's very important. I'm not saying anybody's not dressed appropriately, but it's something to think about. Then our attitude towards work, our attitude towards our friends or our colleagues is another very important issue because the way you speak to your colleagues, the way you communicate, Noah did talk about this, but the way you communicate, if I come to you and ask you for something, there's a way you can communicate to me and say, okay, Robert, this is it. Do you take it and sort it yourself out? You've given it to me, but have I really understood what I need to do? Have you taken time to make sure I've understood what they, because that's going to waste more time if I've not got it right. I've got to come back to you or I've got to go to somebody else at some time and say, well, no, I did give me this, but I didn't quite get it. Do you understand it? We are wasting a bit of time. So let's try to be clear with our uh, friends or with the attitude we, with which we approach the, the work we have. Then there's um, the aspect of respect. No, I did mention this, but this is very, very crucial. Respect of one another, respect of what they do respecting their time, uh, listening to what somebody is telling you, because you could be busy, fine. But if I'm really, really busy, I'm going to say, I'm really sorry, give me another 10 minutes because I've got to send this email to somebody and I've got to compose it properly. That is a better way of speaking to somebody. It's like, oh, get out of here, man. I'm really, <laughs> sorry, I don't want to use sorts of languages which are funny, but that listening attitude is very, very important. Always listen. And if you've not understood, ask questions. Because don't go ahead to do something when you've not understood. But also you who is being asked, try to explain clearly. 
so that somebody doesn't get intimidated or somebody understands exactly what needs to be done. Because at the end of the day, we have a service to offer. Now, if we do give this service to people and it's not what they want because we didn't understand, because we didn't listen. Um, the other one is let's encourage one another. Sometimes things, uh, you have too much on your table. You know, I talked about a to-do list. You have priority of what needs to be done first. And late. But sometimes you end up with lots of work. So if somebody comes to you and say, look, I've got A, B, C, D. How can you help me here? We should be ready to come in and understand and prioritize and help out one another. It's not going to be every time. We need to try and accomplish what we are is tabled to us. But we should be able, we should be uh, ready to assist one another. The other thing is ask questions. If you don't understand something, ask a question. Simple. Go to somebody. I'm sure lots of people here are very helpful. Ask questions, and questions will be answered, or we'll find a solution. There's a solution somewhere. There's always somebody who knows something if you are not aware. Then try to be organized. Try to be organized. Uh, I'm sure we all put our files in the drive. But if we just put stuff all over the place, it won't be found e easily. Let's name it properly. Let's find those codes nicely. Otherwise, we are again going to waste time. They ask you for something. You look for it. You can't find it. You say, oh, well, I was working on it yesterday, but I can't. Let's try. Sometimes it's challenging, but let's try to work out. If it's the system we are not sure of, somebody somewhere can explain to us this is how the filing should be done you could have a different sort of filing but it could be yours when others don't understand so let's get that sorted as well the other one is um, make yourself available yeah let's not hide let, 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 i mean if i'm here and i don't put on my camera and uh, somebody calls a uh, robot robot are you there and i'm here and i'm not answering i mean it's not good so let's make ourselves available because it's all teamwork. And then sometimes there are conflicts. Conflicts because of uh, pressures, because of work, because somebody is not being clear. Again, let's take that with a good attitude that we're all aiming at the same goal. We are all working for the same company and we are all trying to achieve the same objective, the same mission. So if we try to do all these things, Try to be calm, try to be simple, try to be relaxed, try to communicate, try to uh, help out one another. I think these are some of the things which I can talk about, but actually Noah has mentioned lots of them. I'm just using different words. Thank you. Thank you very much, Robert. You made a wonderful presentation. And uh, thank you for this. Is there anyone that wants to, to add into what Robert is just saying? Yeah, I just want to make one um, contribution here, one observation. Um, Robert, I think I sent you I sent you um, 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 a chart. Yeah, I don't know if you can if you can see that chart, uh, Robert. Okay. I'll look it up now, sir. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't see. Yes, it's uh, it's interesting to listen to the conversation. You know, even though I was uh, on the other side, um, but it's good conversation. Yes, uh, good pointers. You know, uh, yes, John just come as on. You know, um, I, I don't know if you guys noticed. You know, you can see robot is wearing his badge. Yes, every day now robot has that badge on. Yeah, yeah. So it's not. It's saying, you know, I'm a true ACC guy, you know, and um, I'm a true professional. Yeah, and that um, it, it is for me. It is um, um, it's a, what you call now. It heals the the soul in a way that conflict. Yes, that you have up there, you know, after you've done all of this work that you do as accountants, you know, working and study hard. You know, and then you got, you know, the ACCA, you know, qualification. Yes, uh, behind, yes, your name. Yeah, then use it, my friend. Yes, uh, use it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's all, you know, uh, pointing to the same, 
discussion topic, you know, and, um, and I always like to bring things from um, also the spiritual side, you know, um, whatever it is that you got in your hands, yes, you see, uh, use it. <laughs> yes, yeah, use it, yes. It was Moses, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, what is in your hands, he says. Um, so you've got to be aware of what is in your hands, guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't be joke with that, you understand? And they think, well, hold on, well, I'm looking at somebody's hands, you know, or looking at other people's hands, you know, or whatever it is they got. What is in your hands? What is in your hands? Yes, what are you blessed with? We're all blessed with, you know, different things, you know. Uh, but you got to recognize that. And when, you, when, you, when you're when you aware of that, you know, and they bring that to the table, every day at work, I'm telling you, you know, you're going to be different. Yeah, it's what I want to add there. Yeah, don't forget, we're all blessed. You know, all of us here have got different skills. Yeah, blessed in a different way. Um, I don't want to tell you my weaknesses, you know, but I've got loads of them, you know. <laughs> because if I tell you that, then you begin to test me. You see, so I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say, you know, I'm going to hold it, you know. Uh, but I've got so much to give, I'm telling you, you know, and those things that I have to give, I'm telling you, I'm not going to keep quiet about those things. <laughs> yes, I am mm -hmm. going to keep talking about it. Yeah, so I'm telling you, yeah, so don't shy, don't be shy, you know, to talk about what you got, yes. Um, um, and that you help other people as well, you know, and this is what you bring, you bring yourself, you know, to, to work, you know, and you enjoy coming here every morning to do this, yes, guys, yes. Um, because if you don't, you know, then you, you, you put yourself in a, in a, in a self in prison, yeah, seriously. Because you're going to spend seven, eight hours here every day, five days a week, and you don't enjoy doing this? Oh, boy. <laughs> no, please. Yeah. Uh, so, um, but yes, it's, it's, um, it's good to be talking about these topics, you know, um, uh, and uh, nothing to do with accounting, nothing to do with double entry, you know, passing journals, all those adjustments, you know. Uh, molecular accountancy formula, all this, you know, all this noise that we make about it, you know, we put it to one side and say, come on, yes, let's talk about ourselves now, you know, and uh, and it's so good, you know, it's so good and refreshing, yeah. Um, I don't know, um, when am I going to be talking, you know, it's a long time I've not spoken, you know, I've not led, I don't know how to lead now, you know, um, seriously, so I might need some training, yes. How to lead this kind of programs, you know, these sessions in the morning. Um, but it's good, you know. Every time I listen to the discussion, you know, and the participation as well, yeah, which is good. So I will encourage each and everyone to participate, you know, guys. Yeah, don't be shy. Yeah, you got so much to share. Yeah, uh, everybody's blessed, you know. Like I said earlier, you know, they got a special. You know, come, you know, just share it. There's nothing wrong or, or right. Yes, your opinion. Yeah, uh, is valued. Yeah, uh, the way you say it, yes, uh, share it with other people. Yeah, that's what makes it interesting. Yeah, not just one or two people, you know, a couple of people, the same people, you know, um, taking the um, the discussion, you know. Um, so get guys going through, yes. So that's my contribution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Molly. Thank you. For okay. that. Is there anyone that wants to add it? I don't know if anyone wants to speak after Molai. <laughs> <laughs> he has already sealed it. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Definitely. Okay, so I think we, we are going to end our meeting here. So, so I'll let Linda have any 